welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So, I've been making more scrapbook papers. This time, I've just used book pages in acrylic paint. I've not used um, any collage this time. I'm absolutely covered in paint. So, this one here is from a cookbook. Do you know I was experimenting with a stamp? Oh, and it does work, actually. Kind of. Um, so this was a cookbook page like this. It was a full picture. And so it came up like this. It's quite dark. Um, but I think it's got a lovely vintage look to it with the darkness shining through. It's got collage on it though as well, this one. I'm not, I'm not going to do collage on camera. This one started life as... Similar to this, a black and white one is actually out of my Pepin Border book. In fact, you can see it in the back. Started life like that. And this is my favourite, but I am a sucker for the old honeycomb. It is my bronze metallic paint and the honeycomb stencil, I think, is my absolute favourite. <laughs> this one was out of the... It's either the Pepin Wallpaper or the Pepin Floral book, and... It, it was a similar design but a bit more complex and it had a it did have a kind of purple um tinge to it so that which is why I've kind of brought the purple back in. Went for a kind of purple and yellow there. So I'm really happy with these. Now these four were out of a joke kids joke book. Um that one was yellow. This one was green. This one was blue and this one was pink. And I've done exactly the same thing to each of them. There's no difference. So it just shows you the colour of the background, the difference it makes. Because I think for me, this one has worked the best. The blue one. There you go. Okay, so this has been done purely with acrylic paint and stencils. Last time when I did this, I was going for a blurred effect. Not a blurred. A muted, where I was more trying to show variety. This time I'm just making it like scrapbook paper. The other thing is, this is glossy paper, these book pages. A lot of these big book pages do tend to be glossy. So, the acrylic paints will, you know, it'll be a few layers with these acrylic paints before you start to lose the glossiness. Now, if you're going to use watercolour paint, um, you probably want to use gesso or matte medium or even do... Can you use watercolour on top of acrylic paint? I think you can. I mean, we're only stenciling. We're not doing a masterpiece. Um, but if you are using gesso first, if it's a white gesso, it will make your watercolours take on more of a pastel hue. Right, that needs to dry before we go for the next one. I chose green because it complements red and it harmonises with the yellow. And this is... This is definitely a yellow and red background. And I'm choosing this stencil to use. I'm not really thinking about the shape of it. I'm more thinking about the coverage with it. Um, like these are these this started life similar to this. I really I don't want you to be able I want still want the kind of atmosphere of the picture coming through, the the darkness, the colours, the richness of the colours. Um, but I don't want you to be able to identify it as a cookbook page. I'm going to go for burnt sienna. I also try and keep my brush quite dry for this. I find you get a much better impression. I was keeping it wet, quite wet before. Thank you. 
and also it doesn't matter if you go over bits that you've already done with the stencil um we're just laying down shapes and colors and they will come up with different levels of intensity like how much you've applied the color which i like because i try i do try and vary it up The lightness in the center of the page should help this looks lighter on here than it does up there there's still lightness to that the center of that page okay, i think i'm going to do white this time i'm going to use this one Oh, that's so lovely already. I probably wouldn't use your very good paintbrushes, by the way. I just mashed them up. I love this paintbrush because it was actually a ruined paintbrush. It was the, I think it was acrylic paint that dried on it and I cut the top of it off and I love what I've been left with. This is my hardy brush. What I like about using the stencils is I think it, it's harder to try and be natural about putting down the colour if you can see it all at the time and I think you're more distracted by what's going on about whereas with the stencil you're just putting it down and that's it. Oh I'm loving it. Oh amazing I love it already I think I'm going to get some red try it right I'm going to do copper and I think I'll just do leaves again actually do you know what this shows you it shows you the importance of actually layering because what's going on underneath this is far different to this. Right, we're very red now. We're too red. I think they're putting in some green. It's like it's got a dark vignette around it and the, the lights in the middle. Bronze is my favourite metallic colour to use. I just think it gives the biggest effect. Oh, wait a minute. Did I dry that? Did I? I did. Hmm. through there we go what do you think it's very Christmassy I did not intend to make that Christmassy it just happened I'm not really sure I would want to do anything else to it either Well, might as well do another one.
bit of burnt sienna now. That is lovely. I like this one a lot. That's only three layers, four layers, four layers. And I was going to use gold on top of it. Wow, that was my favourite one and it was so easy. Cookbook page, scrapbook paper. Honestly, you could cut that up and use it to decorate cards. You could use that as a journal cover, a journal page. You could really do a lot with that. Obviously you could do that with them all, but there's something about this design that I really love. Do you know, see, see the burnt sienna? The orangey colour that I used? Where are you? Here. It's not the nicest orange colour. Um, it, makes it, it, get, it makes it look pink, like a dusky pink and it, it's lovely. Okay, so that's us done. We have the two cookbook pages and they were very similar in style and darkness and colours to begin with. We have this, which is my favourite. This is like summer. And this is the other black and white page. They're a good match, see, because I used the honeycomb on that. They actually work well. And then we have these ones. No, nope, we have this one. That was one of the um, floral designs or wallpaper designs, but it was just too much. Um, and that's got a nice purple tint to it. And then we have these, the children's joke book pages. So I am over the moon with these. It's hard to believe that they began life as they did. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to see you soon and take care.